Dr. Bill Rawls here with some natural remedies for sleep. Now here I'm referring more to chronic sleep disturbances and uh, the root cause of sleep disturbances or sleep dysfunction is an overactive sympathetic nervous system, that fight or flight nervous system, uh, adrenaline. And uh, when we are kicking up adrenaline into the evening and cortisol, our, our other adrenal hormone follows adrenaline and those are all keeping our brain awake when we really want to calm it down and go to sleep. So when you're looking for solutions, I think everybody would love to have that one thing that even though they're keyed up at 11 o'clock at night, they can take that thing, go to sleep, and, and wake up refreshed in the morning. Um, there are sleeping pills that can do that, but they have problems with causing habituation and other kinds of undesirable effects. Uh, so, we, so a lot of people are looking for natural remedies that do the same thing. So first of all, the sleep drugs are very, very, very potent and nature really doesn't make anything that potent. Um, it would be dangerous. But when you look for things that do have a sedative effect on our body, um, there are a lot of things in nature. Uh, magnesium is one of them. You know, we, we, magnesium is a deactivator. We have to have activators and deactivators in our body. So calcium is an activator, magnesium is a deactivator. So it can have some calming properties. Um, there are a lot of things produced by plants. You know, plants are using a lot of the same chemical messengers that we are. So there are many things in plants that have a sedative effect. Uh, many plants make melatonin, one of the things that initiates sleep. Tart cherry um, can be a really nice uh, source of melatonin that helps, just helps us uh, accentuate our own melatonins and help, helps that uh, move us toward a place where we can go to sleep better. There are also chemicals that mimic our calming neurotransmitters. And uh, the GABA is the main one, uh, but there are others. And, and so you can find those in nature. Uh, herbs that are some of my favorites that have some nice sedative properties. Bacopa is one that's top of my list because it also has some really nice brain enhancing properties. So it can help sedate you, it can help calm you so that you get a better night's sleep, but at the same time it can help your brain work better. Passion flower has some nice muscle relaxing properties. Uh, that's a favorite. Uh, motherwort is a good for that 3 a.m. wakening, so it can help with that aspect of the sleeplessness that a lot of people have. Some of the more potent things are, are kava, California poppy. So sometimes those things for you, when you really need something uh, and your brain is really agitated, they can be a little bit much be more beneficial than some of the medium range things. Um, but the other thing is addressing that sympathetic system overactivity. And if that's occurring chronically, there's no sleep medication or, or natural remedy that's gonna solve that problem without changing your approach to life, um, affecting the way that you are going about your day, um, not, not doing computer screens, uh, late into the evening and just being active through the day. One of the best things you can do to get a good night's sleep is be active. Just be do, doing walking, yoga, uh, just any kind of activity that gets your body moving builds up sleep pressure and helps you sleep at night. So for more information on these kinds of solutions, please check out my website, RawlsMD. Uh, we've got a lot of great new information coming about sleep. And, and so uh, please stay tuned, uh, sign up for our, our newsletter so you know what's coming. We're gonna be doing a webinar on sleep, lots of great information to help solve this problem of chronic sleep dysfunction. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Take the time to leave comments, ask me questions, let me know about other things that you would like to hear about. Thank you.